our church members, those who work in the companies, and they, as you know, many of them, they are refugees here. Uh, they are non-English speaker. That's why they do work in, a, uh, in a different companies, those who, especially for those who work with a small field and meat production. Uh, because of that, in this issue, many of them, they lose their job and that they are not qualified for government uh, support. Uh, some of them, they are new in this location. And some of them, they just leave their job without being prepared, but they have uh, their own uh, issues. Those who have been sick, those who have children, the young kids, those who have, uh, and are, some of them, they have pregnancies. They just leave their job and when they don't have other option to do. So some of the families, 11 families, they're struggling to get food, uh, groceries and, uh, and the uh, house rent, that's the major issue we have here in Sioux Falls. We're facing a lot of issues with immigrants uh, in this crisis because they, they qualified as uh, non-essential jobs on the factories that have closed up. Uh, churches really, most of churches are here in uh, Dayton, Cincinnati, um, Columbus area. We rent spaces to worship. But now we find ourselves with no rent, uh, no way to pay the bills. And uh, the members are really counting on us that lost the job to support uh, the family. Um, and then one of our members' daughter have a coronavirus. And uh, that's another issue to pray about as we all fasting and praying. Mm -hmm. We really got to show mercy for his people and to know that uh, we have our hands wrapped around to uh, support one another.